Welcome back to Open Line. I'm here with Francie Hunt and also Carrie Adams, both with Planned Parenthood, one with the political and advocacy arm, <laughs> one with the services arm. Uh, we're going to jump right to the phone calls because I promised you we would. Let's uh, go to Sarah. Sarah, thank you for your patience tonight. Are you with us? Hi. Hi, oh. thank you for, call for staying on the line. Hi, thanks for taking my sure. call. I was just calling to um, first say thank you. Uh, I support Planned Parenthood. Um, and I also wanted to know if they were involved in any of the women's marches and the activities around that. Yes is the answer <laughs> um, at all the levels. I think uh, we had in this last year um, Cecile Richard, our uh, president at the national level, she spoke um, at the at the national march, and then here in Tennessee, uh, Planned Parenthood was one of the sponsors of the Power Together Tennessee march. I actually was the event director for that, and um, and it was like an exciting day. We you know had workshops in the morning because part of what we wanted to do is equip building up leadership advocates, advocacy leaders um, within the state. So we, we taught them ar around electoral organizing, how to do grassroots organizing. We had a faith and spirituality component. Um, we had an artivism component. So artists mm -hmm. and singers and dancers had a role in kind of connecting art to social mm -hmm. justice. Mm -hmm. And then we um, ended the day with a march. So mm -hmm. again, I, I referred to earlier as, as seeing that our work in Planned Parenthood is intersectional and cross movement and so I think that was a really great opportunity for us to mm -hmm. um, make that happen all right Sarah thank you for your call let's go to Chloe hi Chloe hi there hi go ahead um, my question is uh, I'm wondering what the most pressing issue for Planned Parenthood is this year great question <sighs> is there a number one I is think so I think that I would say um, you know, it's not even particularly issue-based within our within our um, organization in terms of whether it's related to funding or provision of care. I think the overarching concern that we would have is how do we bolster real democracy um, in Tennessee? How do we move to a place of greater civil discourse uh, on these issues? Because because we have to moving forward really be solving the world's problems, which mm -hmm. is kind of a hefty big issue to be thinking about. So I think with that broader goal, mm -hmm. um, we're looking at making sure that we can shift power at every level in the state um, as, as it relates to reproductive and sexual health. And so that means um, we say that, you know, uh, you know, from the state house uh, to our house. Like, so that means both in an electoral and legislative way, um, but also culturally and mm -hmm. so I think that our, our greatest need is having uh, people using their voices making sure that they're registered to vote um, and learning the skills that it takes to have a healthier democracy of mm -hmm. engagement. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move on and try to get in as many calls as we can as yeah. we run up against the hour. Jeffrey is on the line and been holding quite some time. Hi Jeffrey. Hi, how are Hi. you? Good, go ahead. Hi, well, I was going to kind of ask the same question as the previous caller <laughs> about the priorities for the state. Um, and I've had immediate family members and extended family members utilize the care at Planned Parenthood. And um, so thank you all for being here. But really, uh, as an organization, what are you all prioritizing um, with your uh, activities or your um, activism? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I would say that Francie was talking about a 10,000 foot level, but I would say that, you know, the defunding, uh, which is obviously an issue that we're fighting here, is being fought across the nation. And we are standing in solidarity with all Planned Parenthoods and really focusing our efforts on uh, beating back attempts to, um, you know, take away our services from people who desperately need it. So um, I encourage you again, uh, Jeffrey, anybody else on the on the watching us to engage with us to um, sign up to be a supporter and uh, just uh, start showing up at the legislature yeah. um, come to our activities uh, let uh, we would love to have you yeah. Planned Parenthood would love to have you I think in the immediate term right now um, political engagement is going to be critical because this mm -hmm. is a midterm election year yes and I think that you know, my feeling is that more people are becoming awake to sure. these issues. Mm -hmm. um, issues across the board, really. Exactly. Yes. I want my voice heard. Exactly. Yes. And mm -hmm. so, you know, um, I, I think that 
I hope we've learned that voting is not enough. A, you need to vote. So if you're in the pile of, of folks that haven't voted before, that's your first step. But for those that are regular voters, you know, I would say take it up a notch. So this is our this is our priority issue. Take it up a notch. Mm -hmm. You can't just vote for a person that you like. We would ask that you campaign for that person. You show up, you know, and we'll we'll help um, slot you into those roles. You know, to help make phone calls, to help go door to door. Um, to do all this, have conversations with folks in your become area. Involved, yes, yes. Become, yep. involved. become involved. Yep. Sign up. Let's uh, move on to Amy here. Hi, Amy. Hi. Hi there. Thank you for waiting. What's your comment or question, concern? Um, I work with a group of teenage girls in the Nashville area, and they obviously have a lot of questions mm -hmm. about how to make healthy choices around their bodies and their sexuality. And I would love to be able to be pointed to some resources to come in and educate these girls with some factual information that they could use and was hoping I could get some resources from Planned Parenthood. And that is one of the services you all provide, mm -hmm. is sex education. Yes. Yeah. How, how do you do that? What does it look like? We have uh, education uh, happening throughout the state, um, and we have uh, professional educators who bring uh, other educators to them, and they teach them how to be um, effective sex educators uh, in their fields. Uh, we also go, go to churches, um, school groups. Um, I had our educators come and talk to my uh, prepubescent Girl Scout troop mm -hmm. uh, a couple of weeks ago and we we love to have sessions with parents giving them skills and tools that they need to talk to the children that they interact with um, professionals and we you know we we reach over 10,000 people a year in Middle and East Tennessee alone through our educational activities and um, that's woefully inadequate given the state of sex education in Tennessee and we would love to uh, be engaging more so and for people like Amy do they just call their yes their plan call our office and say, call, call yeah. our office and say I want to I want to set up a education session tell me how do I do that and mm -hmm. we will get you in touch Amy with yeah. the so people you need <laughs> so you, you could actually email uh, advocacy at ppmet.org mm -hmm. for that same um, for that information and we yes. can send you we will connect you with an educator that can schedule something mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. with with your group yeah great Amy thank you for calling in glad we got that answer we're yeah. gonna come right back and wrap things up stay with us.